At this time, I'll call the October 8th, 2020 meeting to order for the Dixon County Commission. Would you please stand and join in the flag salute? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our agenda today will have one addition, and that's for an executive session for attorney-client privilege, and it'll be for five minutes at the end of the meeting. And with that one addition, I would move we approve the agenda as amended. I'll second it. We have the motion and the second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. The consent agenda includes the minutes of the October 1st meeting. It also includes fund expenditures of $1,178,480.78. I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. We have the motion and second for approval of the consent agenda. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, commission comments? Uh, Craig? Yeah, I'll just mention that I'm, I'm sure we'll all be attending the virtual KAC conference uh, next Wednesday. Uh, it'll be up at the health department, if I'm correct. Yep. So that's all I have, Lynn. Okay. Uh, Ron? I don't have anything. Okay. The only thing I have is that I, uh, we do have a meeting tonight for Dixon County EDC, and I'll be in attendance of that, and there's... Um, somewhat of their monthly meeting, but also um, they're beginning to gather information and feedback as far as um, individuals in the county and uh, businesses and those that have participated in the EDC. And Doug Kissinger is doing that, and much of that is by Zoom. And so there may be some within our county that are gonna be hearing from him. And that's all I have. We do not have any petitions or proclamations. Uh, public comments can be made at this time if anyone would want to make a comment on something that is not on the agenda. Not hearing any, we'll move on to our report of county officers, our county administrator, Brad Homan. Okay, we finalized the lease agreement with Evergy uh, to utilize the Hope Landfill further this week. They will be using that uh, for two to three years. I think it's up until the middle or beginning of 2024. They are paying us $625 a month to use that. They will replace the gates, put in a new gating system, and also have uh, their handlers put them out the facility. And then they will leave it in whatever state we want, whether we want the gravel picked up or one left or what have you. So I think it'd be good for them, be good for us to see it utilized and, and uh, be a very positive thing. So. Uh, Monday's jail update meeting went very well. I'm very pleased to tell you that we have masons on site out here this week. And uh, if you were to look out the window, you'd see a wall going up uh, on the east side of the booking, or west side of the booking area. And so then kind of wall started. They should have about 13 masons on site today uh, to really get with it hot and heavy. And, and we should start seeing some progress now. So we're happy to, to see things are moving along. Uh, painters have been in and they've been working. They've got uh, most of the inside of the jail area uh, at least primed, and they've got one of the areas back there, the, the epoxy coatings on the walls. It looks very nice. Uh, fire sprinkler install continues to be done throughout the building. Uh, exterior glass on all the jail. The jail portion windows are all in and done. Uh, things are just progressing very well. What you're going to see out on the east side of the jail where they worked that off and we've got some stakes out there. Uh, this week they're working on getting the, uh, the light pole uh, fixtures trenched in and getting those started as well as the curb and gathering that will go out there getting that marked and getting it done. And then they're also going to be putting the uh, water line in that goes over to First Street. Uh, I saw last night where they have it uh, flagged uh, with dig safe so that uh, they can get that dug and, and installed. So things are moving right along now and hopefully we'll see some production and some uh, progress here in the next few weeks. So, uh, as John reported, the health department is in the midst of the flu clinics this year. They've been out to a couple of the schools and yesterday they had their drive-through clinic. 
out in, uh, out in front of Sterl Hall, uh, which was very successful. Over 200 people that uh, drove through. My wife drove through and was very impressed with how quick it was. Uh, they're going to be doing one down in Harrington, I think, on the 29th. Uh, otherwise, they're doing them by appointment at the health department. So uh, you can go online if you want to go down on the 29th and you fill out a form. It's real simple to do. You fill in the fill in your information and hit submit, and then they get that information. So when you go through, you don't even have to do anything. You just tell them your name. It's already done. They pull up. They give you the old stick, and, and you move on. So the whole thing takes about 60 seconds. So it worked very well. I think we might see a see a change in the way we do those things. So it, it's something else COVID's kind of brought about that has changed the way we do things. So uh, we normally have our in-service day tomorrow, which would be out at Sterl Hall uh, for all of our county employees, uh, sitting, or not tomorrow, Monday, I'm sorry, Columbus Day. Uh, the courthouse and the county buildings will be closed Monday, however, we'll be here at the courthouse working, uh, cleaning, uh, packing up things and, and utilizing it as a work day to get ready for the uh, move when we get ready to move here the first two years. So uh, as far as county operations, things will be shut down and, and, and offices will be closed because of the holiday and we'll be using it as a work day. Uh, we took diesel bids earlier this week. Uh, they were essentially the same. MKC was 164.53 and their office was 165.3. So a hundredth of a cent difference. Uh, we did give it to MKC this time just simply because they were basically the same and uh, they rarely get one of them so we tried to share a little bit with them. We appreciate both of them when they bid obviously uh, but as with all business we try to share it when we can. So uh, The year to date budget reports from Janelle you've got in your, in your packet. We're getting down to the end of the year. Everybody's budgets look fine. There's nothing alarming. I was kind of surprised to uh, Sales taxes stayed up there again, believe it or not, uh, and, and we're, uh, if we continue on the trajectory we're at, we're going to be well over what Janelle had budgeted for sales tax revenue for the year. Uh, this last month was July's revenues at 111500 so uh, just a little bit less than it was in 19, but it's staying up there. In June, if you remember, uh, we had 137000 which is really remarkable. So. I think that was the one day that I wasn't here and I hadn't looked at that afterwards, but I looked at it the other day when she gave it to me and I said, wow, what did we do in June? So that was that was a good month. So uh, things are staying up there when I'm, again, I think it's just because people were shopping more at home and doing more, more business. So uh, We get a notice from the city that uh, there's a, a property tax uh, abatement uh, exemption application been filed by Don's Tire for an expansion that they're doing down there. Um, there's a hearing coming up, and I don't remember the date, it's here in a couple weeks if, if you're interested in going, but it is a standard exemption that meets all the requirements for uh, additional property, additional jobs, and things like that. And it has gone through the EDC process, and Chuck has reviewed it, and uh, so uh, we just got notice, and I see no reason why we wouldn't want to support that like we would the rest of them. So. Uh, let's see, you mentioned the KC virtual conference on the next Wednesday. It's from 9 to 4.30. We'll be at the health department doing that for the ones who want to come. There'll be a few of us up there and we're just planning on being there for the day. It'll be interesting to see how that gets pulled off and how it goes. So, the last thing that I had was I provided you in your packets some uh, copies of uh, a few of the letters that Dr. Holmes has received and uh, a couple that I have received personally uh, from people that wanted to express their appreciation with all the, all the uh, rhetoric and all the negativity going around with the, the COVID situation. Uh, as you can see, those are, those are positive letters, that, and that's not all of them we've received, but that's the ones that I was able to copy the other day. People that do appreciate what's going on and the fact that we've, we've done what we could to try and guide the public in the right direction. So. You know, I, and I don't know how to sum it up. I know everybody's, like we said in our work session, uh, things are things are very contentious, uh, especially when it comes to schools and kids closing. Uh, people are really, really tired of the COVID thing. And we're tired of being tired, uh, but we're kind of. I think we're kind of on the home stretch. We're getting close to when a vaccine's going to be available, and uh, hopefully we can 
think of each other, uh, think of think of the, our, our fellow citizens that do the right thing, and and just hang in with it for a little bit longer because it's uh, it seems as though we're getting to the point where we want to shoot the messenger, and uh, we're Dr. Holmes, John, health department staff, the health nurses at the schools, everybody involved is just doing what they believe and are trained in. The science shows is the best for all of us, and so. I know that everybody wants to blame somebody, and um, I think we need to be, if, if there's ever a time we need to come together and be thinking of each other, now's the time. So we just ask for some patience and allow the schools to work through the process and allow the process to work and hope for a vaccine that comes out that we can get beyond this thing. I think as a, as a community, as a county, as a nation, we're above this and we need to get, get beyond it. So, But those are some support letters, just to let you know there are and we've received emails too that didn't come in the form of a letter. So uh, those are some some of the comments that are going around people that do appreciate what's going on. So it's not totally negative. So and and I know that Dr. Holmes has shared some of those with Lynn, but uh, to uh, to prevent a, 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 an open meetings violation or something, we didn't want to uh, extend those across. So I just made copies of it so you guys can see those. So that's all I've got today. Okay, thank you. Doug? No, I don't have anything, thank you. Okay. This time we'll go to notices and communications on information that we've received in the mail. Uh, we do have something from the uh, KDHE, Kansas Department of Health and Environment. Uh, typically they update us when any activity is taking place in the county. And this particular one um, is, is just a wastewater permit. Uh, and in this instance, it has to be that of an annual fee, so we'll take care of that. Um, and that is something that they send to each of the counties. And along with that, they do send us information on weekly or monthly as far as any activity in Dixon County that has to do with permitting. Um, as far as notices and communications uh, beyond that, as Brad mentioned, there have been several letters and emails, comments. Um, we do have some, as what Brad mentioned, that are in support of the safety aspect and the very appreciative of, of steps that are taking to try to reduce the risk and, and work through this particular time. I know earlier we had a uh, department head meeting and John Holcren said something that um, it, it, I think it's on the mind of a lot of people. He just says, you know, people do want this to be over, but the reality is it's not over. And, um, you know, hopefully we do have a vaccine that's going to be coming our way. I also have received letters and comments where people um, are critical of, of the health department or of, of the regulations, um, and I think all of us to a certain degree like to be able to control our own situation in our own business and our environment and where we work and where we go and where we meet, whether it's activities at schools or churches, um, and, and it, it's hard to balance some of those because you still have to consider the safety of everyone. So it's not just one particular age group, it, it's all of the age groups. Um, having said that, uh, we do, as a commission, um, you know, we review and are looking at possible modifications or changes that we could, could get, but you know, a lot of that is based on information and data. and. Um, We'll continue dialogue with the schools, uh, school boards, um, cities within Dickinson County, and and you know something else that came up. I mean, this isn't just unique to to our area. I mean, we hear a lot of comments and we get a lot of feedback because we live here and and we're hearing from people that live here. But um, but. but literally every county and city in the state and in surrounding states are faced with the very same issues and and there's a downside you know to all of this I mean it's it's been uh, very difficult more so for some people than others 
and um, you know so we appreciate the understanding and um, feedback that we get and um, we'll continue to, to work on this particular issue and, um, and, and you know once again it is it's, it's a medical issue and so you you look to the medical field for advice uh, on this as far as safety um, are there any other comments that anyone else would want to add to that or well I well, I'm in? not sure it's appropriate to bring it up but I was a little uh, disappointed with our community when we have to have a school nurse uh, escorted by a police officer in and out of the building and stuff that there's been threats made against the nurse school nurse uh, I was really shocked to hear that so I mean it's there's just no call for that in my opinion that's all I had Lynn okay. and I am aware of you know a few situations where there's been I'll just characterize it as toxic comments that people have made that um, you know when you inflame the situation and so on it, it really doesn't help um, you know we need to find thoughtful solutions and we also need to be considerate and, um, I talked to someone the other day that uh, that had another city that had trouble with their political signs being removed and things happening to them and, um, and they understand there's different opinions and they got a hold of one that says love thy neighbor <laughs> and put that in next to their political signs they said since that's happened they, they haven't had uh, the problem with the signs disappearing but it, it just shows you know that that people are it's we're at a different level or threshold you might say I think with the election coming up and so much going on and then plus what we're we're dealing with uh, from a health standpoint okay that's all I have for notices and communications if there's no other comments uh, we do not have any unfinished business or other business to consider uh, we will go into executive session and I would move that at 11 20 we go into executive session for five minutes for attorney client privilege uh, which would include the commission um, also brad and um, so we'll have brad in there and then also uh, doug thompson our attorney so i move that we do that at 11 20 for five minutes i'll second that we have the motion and the second any other discussion and this is for attorney client privilege all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And we'll go into executive session at 11.20. Okay, at this time, I'll move that we return to regular session from executive session. I'll second that. We have the motion, we have the second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And we return to regular session. We do not have any action to take um, on what we have heard. Is there anything else to bring before the commission? Move we adjourn. We have the motion to adjourn. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We're adjourned.